Well, we found out that a world leader in no-stitch cornea transplants operates right here in Chicago. So last week, we followed him into the OR to watch him go to work. Sue is unable to see because she has a medical condition known as bullous keratopathy. In layman's term, it's a cloudy cornea. What I'm going to do today is to remove the innermost lining of her cornea and replace it with healthy donor corneal tissue. It's a no-stitch corneal transplant. It's the most advanced form of corneal transplantation. Now I'm going to enter the eye at multiple sites. You can see that I'm touching the inside surface of the cornea. We're going to make a circular cut. That's the innermost lining that I just removed. This is a suture, it's thinner than the human hair, and I'm gonna close this wound with a single stitch. Now, we're going to use the donor cornea. I'm gonna place that in this twin block. I'm going to partially remove the inner lining. This is a very delicate part of the surgery because this layer is actually thinner than the plastic wrap that we use at home for food, so one has to be very careful. Now I'm gonna take the circular blade to make a cut on the donor cornea. And I'm gonna put gentle pressure with my finger going all the way around. I'm gonna separate it off of the circular blade using this forceps. This is the innermost lining of the donor cornea. This is what we're gonna transplant into Sue's eye. This is gonna go inside the eye now. Okay, so I'm closing the wound. So you can see now, that the donor corneal tissue is inside Sue's eye. And I'm going to remove the surface layer because the cornea is too cloudy. This surface layer will then grow back and you'll begin to see that the cornea will start clearing with the donor healthy cells in place now. The surgery went very well. Sue was a great patient and tomorrow the patch comes off and she'll begin to start seeing the world clearer. Please welcome Dr. Thomas John, eye surgeon and clinical associate professor at Loyola University here in Chicago. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was some pretty cool stuff. Thank you. When we're talking about the cornea here, the cornea itself is extremely thin. Yeah. So you're talking about something thin that's a part of something thin. Wow. And exactly so it's right. Here. These microscopic layers. Oof. This is amazing stuff, and is this more and more common, or are more eye surgeons going to be using this technique? It's a technique, I would say, in evolution, because... Spe special skill, right? Special skill, yeah. and the procedure has to be more simplified, so most or all surgeons can do it. So it's in evolution. Mm -hmm. But the advantage of this procedure is the vision comes back much faster and the cornea will look like normal cornea. It's huge. Well, we're all about bringing the latest and greatest in technology to our viewers, Dr. John. You've certainly helped us do that today. Great. Thank you for Thanks, Travis. Thank you.